Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. And I'm here with my friend, Dr. Bill again. And Dr. Bill has something amazing we're gonna do together today. Tell us everything. Okay, so you remember when we talked about how you can make DNA glow, right? And we said that DNA is in every cell and it's the instructions. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I remember so it's that. the recipe to make you, okay? So what we have here are cells that are in here, they're in a liquid, right? And they don't look glowy right now, right? Nope. They look kind of like cream. Yeah, maybe like a, a lemonade. Oh yeah. Lemonade. Yeah, lemonade, right. Okay, so there's actually cells in here, they're very small, and they're very special because their DNA glows. So, what we're gonna do is a little art project here. We love that. This is your canvas. This is a Petri dish. Can I touch it? Yeah, please. So there's a very special uh, gel on there and that gel will help these cells grow. So what you can do, I have some interesting art brushes for you, okay? Yeah, these are very different kinds of, but I think it's an art brush. It's not a normal one, but it's called a wand. It's got it a looks little- looks like a bubble blower. Yeah, exactly, a little bubble blower, yeah, exactly. And what that's gonna do is help spread these cells on to this plate. So whatever designs you come up with, you can do, and then we'll make it glow. Okay. Let's do it. Come here. Got my brush, wand. Got my canvas, Petri dish. And got my paint, cells, with um, glow-in-the-dark DNA. <laughs> I love science. Okay, what should we paint on our first canvas? How about just, would a circle be cool? Yeah, absolutely. You, you think so? Okay, let's do a circle. Dip. There's cells on my wand right now, but I can't see them. And they're alive too. Wow. Hi, buddies. Perfect. Cool. That's it? That's it. Now we just wait for them to grow? Now they're gonna grow and then we'll make them glow. Done. What do we do now? Now we're gonna let the cells grow. Okay. So they replicate more of that DNA, so it's nice and bright when we're gonna look at it. Okay. So now we've sent them in the incubator. Okay, the incubator. Yep. 
We put the little cap on. It's kind of crazy, but we're gonna flip it upside down. Okay. Because they like it that way. All right. Okay, so here is our incubator and it's gonna keep these cells nice and warm for us. They're gonna grow overnight and we'll take a look at them tomorrow. Cool, can't wait. There you go, see you soon. 24 hours later. All right, your cells are ready. You have done something incredible because you've actually painted with live cells, right? I and have painted with a lot of things, but never that. Right? right. Okay, so <laughs> so last time we just took a little tiny bit and spread it out. I couldn't even see what you were doing. Right. And Me now, either. because they grew and because we made them glow, yeah. we're gonna be able to see. Ready? I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Oh, stars, okay. Circle, we've got a we got a Erlenmeyer flask. I like that. <laughs> I made Bubbling that for up. you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. Saturn. Oh, that's my favorite. And then, of course, <laughs> Kylie makes it. That is amazing. So, your art has been growing. And that's now, awesome. <laughs> your art is about to be glowing. We have to be really careful with this. This is a UV. Okay. So we have, we're gonna be behind this protective uh, glass here, right? Okay, so we don't hurt our eyes. Exactly, exactly. But that UV will make, will make your art glow. Whoa, let's shut off the lights. It. My S didn't quite work out, so it's more like, hey, Kylie, make it. But I still like it. I still like it. <gasps> it's Saturn! And some other planets. I think and they're alive. That's wild. I think Dax is going to love that one. <laughs> this is good. The flask! and it's bubbling up. There's some sort of chemical reaction going on here. Dr. Bill, you've done it again. That was so fun. Do you wanna go back to my studio and make some glow-in-the-dark art with me? It won't be alive, but it'll still be cool. Well, I don't have any bacteria or fancy lab equipment for us today, but we're still gonna make an amazing painting here in the studio. To do that, we're going to need a black light or a UVA light. UVA lights use a certain section of the light spectrum. Let's turn it on and see what colors or area of the light spectrum you think UVA lights use. Ready? What color in the rainbow does this most look like? Violet or indigo? You might have witnessed a UVA light if you ever roller skated or went bowling or mini golfing at some sort of glow event. We're going to make glowing art today. The way that that works is UVA lights or black lights bounce light off of different colors differently. So the colors we use today, fluorescent colors, neon colors, bright colors, are going to bounce the black light back at us in a way that's going to look spectacular and very glowy. I'm using these special fluorescent neon light black light paints. And of course, I'm going to be painting a solar system for Dax because that's his favorite. Let's do it. Notice I'm starting on a black canvas. That's just so the colors really pop.
Our painting is done. I had to use a ton of coats of this neon paint to cover the black, but I think it was worth it. Do you like it? Are you ready to see it under the black light? Me too. I think it's cool as it is, but I can't wait to see it glow. All right, I set up a special black light station in my closet. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to the closet. <laughs> I hung the painting up. I hung up the black light. Are you ready to see it glow? Me too. Let's do this. Whoa, where'd you go? Okay, ready? One, two, three. It's amazing. I love this piece of art that we made together. I love that it glows and I love making art with you. And science with Dr. Bill. So fun. If you want to do more art and science with me, just search for Kylie Makes It, K-Y-L-E-E, -E, that's me. See you soon.